If you're looking how to make videos using Canva, this is the video for you. I'm gonna take you through the whole process and we're gonna only use the free tool. I'm not gonna focus on the paid Canva, rather this is the free version. I'm gonna show you how you can build up and we're gonna make a video about pollution that's gonna include questions on the screen, it's gonna include audio, and it's all completely for free. Really hope you like the video, and if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel, as any of those things will help me, and let's get started. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia, if you wanna try it out, there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there. And there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works. And I'll also put that in the description. Okay, so we're on the Canva homepage. I've logged in, I'm using a free tool. I wanna to point out here, I do have a paid tool as well. It's a great product, but I'm using the free tool because I wanna show you that you can make videos for free on Canva and download them onto your computer. Now you'll see that Canva can do many, many things. It really is an exceptional uh, product. It makes infographics and presentations and it makes pictures and it makes whiteboards and it makes all sorts of things. And in fact, I made a video where I showed you how you can use Canva for collaboration. And if you're interested in that, I'll put it on the screen now and you can link on that. But the button that I want you to click on when you log in is this one here. Click on video and then all I want you to do is click here create from blank because we're going to create a video from blank you'll be amazed how easy this is to do now the all important button to remember is this one elements it's in elements that we've got all of these three free content that we can access so click on elements and then what i want you to do is just do a search and what we're going to do a search for is because we're going to do a video about pollution we're going to write the word pollution in and just enter that word. And then what I'm interested in is two areas really, the photos and the videos. And we'll start with the videos. Now, if you look, you'll see that most of them have got pro and you won't be able to use those in the free tool. But if you scroll down, you'll see that there are a number of free videos that we can use. And what we can do is we can drag them onto the screen. So I'm gonna drag that one on there. So we've got a bit of a video here with some uh, obviously a kind of landfill, massive pollution. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll along and I'm gonna add another video. That's actually quite a long video. Okay, let's go along here and we've got some more videos. This one here is also free and I'm gonna drag that onto the screen as well afterwards. So I'm gonna add another video and suddenly now I've got a two part video. Okay, one part is very long. Okay, and then the second one okay is gonna is gonna be this one now we could add more and i'll just add one more just to show you if i come along i can see again that this one is in the free option this looks really good or very sad actually not really good in a way but uh, we've got another one there of uh, a video of this area being smoke filled in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete that first video so I'm just clicking on it and deleting it. And we're just gonna work with these two because what else we can do is as well as video, and we've now got ourselves a little video here with two kind of examples of pollution being thrown up into the air is that I'm now gonna to go to the photos and I can bring photos in and exactly the same thing's gonna happen. There's gonna be images that I will be able to dr drag in. And though the photos won't move, of course, You've only got the photo on the screen for about five seconds. We can add a few photos onto the screen. Now we're not limited to, for example, using that search term. We could come back here and choose, for example, plastic waste and see if any other pictures come up. And we could carry on like this. And look, we can see lots of pictures coming onto the screen again. And again, I've got some pictures and some videos, but we'll concentrate on photos this time. I could drag this picture, for example, onto the screen. Now already, we've got a pretty significant video here. And if I just quickly play that, in fact, what I can do, I can see that it's gonna be 38 seconds. I can click on preview. I can click up here and preview it. 
Okay, so if I just click on this button here, we can actually preview the whole video. Now at the moment there's no sound or any text, we're gonna add that in a minute. I just want you to see how easy it is and the high quality that the video will actually be. Okay, so you're seeing that it's gonna be very high quality and we can really turn this into an interesting stimulus for a discussion uh, between the students. Maybe it could be a way of getting the students to think of vocabulary connected with the topic if we were in a language class, etc. Okay, so this is a really, really powerful, the pictures are very powerful, video is a very powerful form of communication. So now, to close the preview, we click here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some text onto the screen. So make sure your playhead's right back to the beginning. So going right back to the beginning, click here, so you're at the beginning. And what I'm gonna do is now is click over on text. And what I can do, it's very easy, I can just drag a heading onto the screen, for example, here. I'm gonna put this onto the screen. I'm gonna pull it right out, make it a lot bigger. And what I can actually do to increase the size, just click up here. And then I'm gonna ask the question, what can we do about pollution? What can we do about pollution okay a question mark now i don't have to leave it in that color i can always select the text come up to the text color here click on that and it will bring up the box here on the right hand side i'm going to choose a kind of yellowy color so i'm going to click on the screen then just click off and you should see if we click there now that we've got that and we can see that that's on the video on the first part of the video now we're gonna move over to the next part here. And I'm not gonna have any text at this point. I'm gonna leave it blank. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna to come to this point here. And I'm gonna drag another text onto the screen. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put write the word air contamination or air pollution. So let's just again and just click that out. I'm gonna write air pollution. So what I'm doing here is just kind of throwing out words connected with the topic. That's going to come up onto the screen. We've got air pollution. I'm now going to move over onto this next image. So I'm going to bring again the playhead over and onto this one here. I'm going to drag another word. Now, when you drag these words on, remember as well, you can always change the font if you want to use a different font. Control the size, the color. There's lots of things you can do, even in the free tool. So I'm going to put here plastic waste. So plastic waste. And obviously I can make this video a lot, a lot longer. I'm gonna do this one here. So I'm gonna bring it up here to the top a minute. And then what I'm gonna do is select it. And we've even got these effects and click here and even have it with a background. So I'm gonna click here and it'll come up on the screen with a background like that. And we can do that as well, okay? So as you can see, we can slowly build up this video by adding text onto the screen to stimulate a discussion. Of course, we could make the video a lot longer. We could go back to the elements and choose another topic connected to with it. Could be nuclear waste, for example. Yeah, something, lots and lots of things that we could add uh, to search for new images that we wanted to add. Now, there's a lots of other things that we can do, but one of them that I really like is that we can add audio. And we're gonna look now at adding some audio to this video. So we're going to focus on audio now, but just one thing, Canvas is also Canvas, sorry, is also great as a technology for making PowerPoint presentations. And again, it's free. And if you want to learn about using Canva for PowerPoint presentations, I'm going to put a video on the screen now that you can watch. Really quick break from the video. Please, if you can, like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel because it really helps to push my rankings on YouTube. And if you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. We've got loads of content on here. We've got a great section on AI technologies for language teachers. I specialize in making videos to show teachers, language teachers, how to use technology. If you want to go that bit further, think about joining the newsletter. There are 12,000 subscribers. You'll get updated with all the latest videos and the free webinars that we run. But also at the moment, if you sign up, you'll get the free 14 part video course in using technology in language teaching. And I basically highlight some of the best technologies I've come across. And most of the technologies that I highlight are free. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. Now, of course, we could bring in our own content, but I'm concentrating on the content that's provided by Canva. So I'm going to click up to the top here. And I'm going to, in this button, I'm just going to click sad 
dramatic background audio okay and I'm going to click on enter and I can see that we get various things I'm going to click on the audio button because that's what I want and then I'm going to kind of have a look and see what we've got here we've got graphics we've got photos we've got images but what we want is the audio and I'm going to click on see all so I'm going to click here it's going to bring up lots of different uh, music and I'm not sure why it's brought up some I'm just going to do the search again there so with with the audio let me just click on sad dramatic I'm going to make sure that right okay so probably best just click on audio and then do the search okay so dramatic piano and violin music so that first one's only two seconds that's no good but this second one's 29 seconds let's just quickly play this and see what uh, the music is so this second one looks interesting let me just click and listen Okay, maybe not as interesting as I thought. Let's try this one here. It's classic sentimental music. Well, that sounds really good. So I'm going to drag that on. Now, what's what I do? I just grab it and bring it onto the screen, and then suddenly it will make space. And I want it to be right from the beginning. So I'm just going to drop that on. And now we've got a video with audio, with text. And what I want to do now is we're going to go back and have a look by clicking on this button here and previewing what that video looks like. So I click on the preview button. I'm going to play it. Okay, you get the idea. I'm going to close that down. And I just want to point out a couple of things with the audio that are interesting. Just going to scroll it along. So if we were to extend this, so we're just going to click back on elements and we'll just add in another picture or two. So we'll just drag, um, let's see what we've been using here, but let's see if we can just drag another picture on. Let's say we wanted to, to extend this. We can, if we've got a longer video and we want to make the audio longer, one thing you can do, notice this, just under the audio, just click on it, right click, and click on duplicate track and then it will make it longer and that way it will cover however and look, also remember you can always just grab the video and make it shorter by just holding your mouse down and bringing it back if you don't want the whole length of the video maybe you just want it to go until the audio ends okay and there you've got yourself a video remember you use this to scroll down so we've made a video there what in just a few minutes and I'll just show you one final thing between the little tracks here, if you just bring your mouse down and then wait, you'll see that you get this plus and you do get a few options here with what you can do. And if you click on this one here, just this add transition, we can choose to have kind of transition effects. Now I'm just gonna show you what these look like. So what we'll do is we'll do this one, slide. Okay, or we could try line wipe or we can try color swipe, okay? Or we can do flow. Okay, or we can do magic move. So you've got all these different ones I'm going to use. Now I'm going to use this one here, which is dissolve. It dissolves the next one. In fact, maybe slide. I'm going to use slide. So I'm going to click on that. And that will become, and we'll just play a little bit so you see what now happens. So make sure, again, you've got your playhead back to the beginning. And just bring the playhead to about here, actually, so you can watch this. We can add transitions between pictures and between videos. Watch. Okay. So, the one final thing, how do we download this video so that we can share it with our students and save it on our computer? And incredibly, that is part of the free tool. So all you need to do is to click on share and to click on download and make sure you've got it set and you've got various options here, but the one you want is to MP3, MP4 video. Make sure you choose that. And you can even kind of reduce the quality down. I think if I'm right, oh no, you haven't got any 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 control over the over the quality in the free tool. But you click on download. Now that video will go to your downloads. Now remember, it is a video, so it's going to take a few seconds for that video to be processed. Particularly because I actually extended the video and made it quite long. But I can see it's already starting to download. And if you wait, eventually that will be in your download file 
Uh, it may take a two or three minutes depending how long you made the video, but it will be very high quality. You will have a copy on your computer and then you'll be able to use it and play it in class with your students. Okay, really hope you like that video. And as I said, if you can come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads more free videos. Remember, if you want to sign up to the newsletter, there is the 14 part free mini course. There's no tricks. I highlight some of the best free technologies on the internet for delivering language teaching and language learning. And of course, you can also join me on Patreon if you want live sessions with me, if you wanna meet me online and actually have direct training with me, then the best thing to do is to join me on Patreon. And if you click on this video here, you can get all of the information. And finally, if you wanna contact me, scroll down, you can contact me on the website if you want me to do some training with your organization, run a workshop, run a conference, or even if you want me to help you to build content for your online course, which is something I've done a lot of work on. Or maybe it's because you wanna build up a YouTube channel or you just want one-on-one -on -one training in using a technology like Camtasia. I am actually a recommended Camtasia trainer and I do a lot of work in Camtasia. Then you can contact me by just clicking on here and send me an email and I'll get back to you. I'm gonna leave now some more content on the screen, some more videos that you might find interesting and thank you very much.